Kai Branham. Again, getting his second career start. Jamari Wheeler is the Penn State transfer. And Zed Key, we won't forget, got that game winner against Akron. On the other side for Bowling Green, we've got our eye on Daquan Plowden. Arms thought about it, and they work it around at that time. Wheeler got a chance, and he sinks it from the corner. There's possession here for the Falcons. Out to E.J. Liddell, and that's one way that he has kind of stretched out his game, especially this year. He's gotten better and better from three-point territory in his career. Well, yes, that's going to be a big storyline. I think people thought that Ohio State could maybe make that dark horse jump because he was going to be a big part. There was a point in time where I would just kind of raise my eyebrows at a guy, let's say, like Joey Brunk, who's in his third his third school in his career. But you're right, this is the, the transfer area. They're trying to heat him up and taking his ball. Trey Diggs leaves it short. And a hustle points there for Brenton Mills for his first two. It's a for five shooting start, though, from three-point territory here for the Falcons. Pump fake for Wheeler. He's had a good start. The tip is there for Key. And that's what he needs to do. He, he down the left side and challenged nicely by Zed Key. Shooter count! Shooter count! On the push, transition lock and the flush with some authority for Eugene Brown, shoot or the third. Did not score against Niagara. How about Michi Johnson setting the table and Eugene Brown hammering it? Found himself on the all freshman team in the MAC conference last year. A, a, their starting point guard and a big part of what they do. No Caleb Fields as well, and there's a nice jump hook there from Kyle Young, who's trying to build up his minutes. Deep triple try for Arms. Makes it look easy from back there. Sit down, me, Billy. And a 20 to 4 advantage here for the Buckeyes. Looking inside to Liddell. There's some more paint points. They're starting to add to that tally. They got eight now here to do and build that foundation on what you already have. He's done that. He looks great. Another turnover here for the Falcons. Johnson Jr., that hesitation beautifully done for two. Boy, Joey Brunk ran the floor so hard and then just cleared the way. 21 here to start, including Plowden, again, their, their leading scorer, a guy who averages about 16, still scoreless here in this first half. And look out, Liddell's starting to get comfy cozy. I mean, that, that would be his mean potatoes right there. Just backs you down, gets to the fadeaway jumper. The amount of space he creates off his backside. This is on the board. He's got five points. That's what Michael Huger said he wanted to see from Brenton Mills. Be more aggressive. Gets the open shot, drills it from the left wing. One of the best three-point shooters last season. And Eight points for Arns and a perfect two for two from three-point territory here to start. There's a look for Joe Reese, and he's kind of getting hot there from the baseline. And Wheeler to initiate. Kyle Young with the back down. He got that hook going. He's got the mismatch there with Trey Diggs. And see just how deep this Ohio State front court is. Just so far away that he's been wide open. He's got six so far to lead Bowling Green. He averages in double figures at 10 here so far. There's a flush. Zed Key throwing it down. You can see the numbers right there. He has struggled shooting it. Well, he was on the top line of the scouting report here for Ohio State. And there's a good reverse and baseline take for Kyle Young. As they get used to playing together, I'd put Michigan State in that tier, Maryland, and I would go Indiana as well. I think there's four really good teams right. in that tier, too. Back to our left, Branham's first points is spectacular. Farm, and at Penn State at times, they, they were looking to create havoc. And they had a guy like Mike Watkins to kind of clean it up. You can't take away from Jamari Wheeler what he does really well. He's got at his absolute best over the course of his three years at Penn State. Put it on your side, then he can't beat you. Tough to beat that. Been letting that fly all night. Corner look for Diggs. State team that averages in double figures here this year, right behind E.J. Liddell. Final few seconds here of this first half. Soto's and some hawking defense, and the runner falls for Fulcher. He's a very good catch and shoot guy, but they need guards to live in the paint. Takes the bound. 
Arns for Ohio State early in the first half have done a pretty good job rebounding the basketball. Justin Arns with the five rebounds in the first half. And a turnover there for Ohio State. They had seven turnovers for kind of the first 10 minutes of the first. As well as Eugene Brown here early in the second half. Bowling Green going a little 3-2 zone. That's a zone buster right there. That game, not forcing anything. There's the rip away. On the move, here's Johnson Jr. With the play Football, might as well do it in week one. That's built a lot of momentum over that time. And the contact is made with Johnson Jr. and an and one opportunity here for Swolman. Two on the shot clock and they fall for another for the Buckeyes. Ohio State, but right now, talking to Chris Holman, he, he talked about how he just got to find out how hard everybody plays. And just... Chris Holman talked about his freshman. He's got to understand the, the effort level and consistency that comes with it. I mean, I think tonight he, he is taking the lead of getting some drill penetration, making plays for other people. But he, he thought by the end of the year it, it could be Malachi Grant. I mean, that, that would be a welcome addition. It's going to be okay. And 22. Now in circulation again for the freshman. There's an open look there for those. That's his first, first three-point make for seven points here tonight. Ohio State is carving up this 3-2 zone. And they're moving the basketball, finding shooters, finding people at the rim. Shooting. Ohio State kind of changing the defenses up here, going a little 2-3 zone. A little pull from distance. Points a game. He's come in, he's been aggressive, he's gotten to the rim. And right there, sticking a three. He's above that average right now with eight points. You have players like a Jamari Wheeler, who's played at Penn State for four years. And Did you have a team like that when you were playing in the conference? And it was against the rules. You, you could transfer. I'd be banned from West Lafayette forever. <laughs> I guess they're lucky that the Penn State-Ohio State basketball rivalry isn't what the football one is. You mentioned no Caden Matheny, also no Caleb Fields. He actually hasn't played at all this year, but was a, a full-time starter, at least 25 starts in, in three seasons. A little bit, they've gotten whatever they wanted. Seven turnovers here for the game for the Buckeyes, trying to muscle his way in. For three years at Old Dominion. alley -oop and the touch for Brown. Wisely cut. Right to that front of the rim. Well, State's got some good production off the bench as well. Two extended scoreless streaks really put Bowling Green behind it and up against it. He can shoot the three-point shot too. He tallied about 266 of those. And an open three-point look. Gene Brown couldn't have been more wide open. It's like, it's like shooting in the backyard. Brown. It matters, and I, I think that's cool. Uh, it still exists here today, and you know, a, a lot of Big Ten teams, players, coaches, media alike, you know, they're hey, it's a Bronx hands. Quick hands as Johnson gives it right back, oh, or does he? There. Bodies on the floor, back the other way, here's Fulcher. Ooh, wow. A little showtime for Josiah Fulcher. Reserves going to work here for the Buckeyes as Johnson gets blocked. On the transition, it's Cam Young. 81 to 48. It's Sotos back the other way. Looks at that alley-oop and he'll finish with the left hand instead. Another turnover here for the Falcons. Mentioned without their point guard, Matheny. Daquan Plowden, their leading scorer, no points here tonight. And, uh, the team the year before, for him to have zero points, and that's, that's quite an accomplishment for this Ohio State defense. Guy who's played in 126 career games. Russell missing that opportunity. 
Offensive rebound and put back there for Young. No one's really had, we were talking, no one's really had that wow game. You look at their leading score, E.J. Liddell with 13 points, three rebounds. If you sum up some of these issues they have getting to the paint, not an issue tonight, but has been the first two games. They've got a nice roster. There's a His return. It's Turner. Be the last points and the last shot of this game. Dominating performance start to finish for this Ohio State Buckeye team. Chris Holman and the Buckeyes now improved to 3 0 in this very young season. Bowling Green drops to 1 2, 89 58.